What is going on? It is Solo E in the building, and in this video, we're just going to go ahead and get straight to it. And let's just cut it short because this pretty much is just going to be a straightforward video. So, first and foremost, what we're doing here is we're talking about a five minute scalping strategy that you literally need just to trade US 30. Now, I've been implementing this strategy since I started live streaming, or really since I started actually trading US 30, which was literally two weeks ago. Um, never really cared to touch it or pay attention to it. But despite that, this actually does way more reactions and give me a lot more setups than that that I decided to take upon US 30 the long way. And now we're going strong with it. So right now we're using, uh, which is trade locker for those that don't know, it is part of Ospring FX. If you guys are not tuned in with them, you can definitely sign up with them. Also, they have Funder Pro and I'm actually showing you guys and one of my challenges that I am doing now. So that being said, what we're going to talk about is partial liquidity phase and the moving averages, which is the 260 EMA and why this is so important to new traders and any traders that do not understand how this whole reaction works. First and foremost is when you're trading uh, US 30, you want to know what times to actually look for this specific setup that I'm literally going to break down. So you guys want to make sure you pay attention. And that being said, if you're mainly focusing on New York and London session, this is where you will see majority of your setups. Uh, anything outside of that, you kind of already want to be in the trade um, instead of you looking for the setup. But at at least Eastern time, if you are focusing from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., you should at least be in a trade or ideally be ready for your setup to get you initiated in a trade. And that's really all it is to it. There's nothing more to it. So that being said, first and foremost, you want to go ahead and sign up with Ospring FX or Funder Pro. So you can go ahead and get Trade Locker, which is powered by TradingView, right? And you'll be able to use all this here. But most importantly, guys, you want to just pull up your chart, right? And get US 30. Once you get that, get the EMA, which is 260 is what I'm using. All we're doing for this EMA is just trying to figure out the direction. I notice a lot of you guys have problems trying to figure out is it a downtrend or uptrend? And usually when you go on a daily or a four hour, you're like, I don't know, I can't figure this out. If you're that type of trader, the EMA is perfect. If you feel like you master that, you don't even need the EMA. You really don't. But being on the five minute, at this time, I remember this is something we uh, seen the other day on our live stream. We had a liquidity phase. Now, what it is what is a liquidity phase? Liquidity phases occur when you have your equal highs and your equal lows in the same demanding area. And what I mean by that is if you're looking at a reaction where market is telling you that we have wick rejections at the top, which creates what we call an M shape known as a double top, and then we have wick rejections at the bottom, which creates what we known as a W. This is what we can consider a phase of multiple liquidity zones in the same area. So what that initially means is before a reaction occur, nine times out of 10, it will take both directions out before it actually does an impulsive wave. So what I mean by that is typically when we're looking at smart money concept traders and we're saying this is our change of character, we're immediately assuming that it's going to drop but vast majority of these type of reactions we also should expect it to take the highs out first and i look at every liquidity which is equals equal lows equal highs as money so when i'm dealing with this reaction i'm like in my mind well i know there's a lot of money here as well as there's a lot of money here and if you guys see this as supply demand that's completely cool and that works too but i'm noticing that there's mentally in my mind, I'm telling myself there's money at the top as well as the bottom. Why would they just leave the money at the top when they know they can get to it a hundred percent before they actually take off? So in my head, I'm like, well, what's going to nine times out of 10 happen is a phase of liquidity grabs is going to occur, meaning that they're going to take one phase. And they're going to take another phase. And that's basically it. So that being said, when, you're looking into this reaction, you want to basically look for the highs 
in the lows to be taken out before it actually does its play. And that is exactly what US 30 does a lot, way more than NASDAQ. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to take upon US 30 full blown and not even worry about NASDAQ. So when we take the lows out first, we have to take out the highs. That's just money to them, right? They look at it as money. Now I'm not saying this is always 100% accurate, right? But if you can master this well enough, you will almost understand how simple and simplified you can make this strategy. I, I know a lot of my students I teach in our VIP, they got this locked down. This is one of their favorite strategies. This is actually one of my favorite strategies, but this is not the money-making strategy, believe it or not. So that being said, when we're looking at a liquidity phase like equal highs, equal lows, your main focus is looking at the wicks. Notice that the wicks are roughly aligning equally, right? equally and this can be seen diagonal or this can be seen straight doesn't matter but when we're looking at these wicks notice how we had a wick here wick here wick here wick here wick here and whatnot what usually in a lot of traders eyes happens is they're immediately like oh we're going up we're going to go down we broke structure the moving average is is above so this means we're going down no you want to wait on price to head down after it heads down you then wait on internal structure to form so if you're on a five minute and that's what we're on we're staying on the five minute you just wait for it low to form or high in this instance a high this is this was the most recent high but then this became the most recent high after we break through you can either trade the breakout or you can wait on a pullback it doesn't matter it's up to your style of trading whatever you feel confident and comfortable in but you want to wait on structure to break you want to wait on market shift that's what we call it because that will identify that the reaction of the sellers are weak and the buyers should be coming in the market now to take out the highs now as you see exactly what happened here we took the lows out but before we decided to continue to drop we immediately took the highs out next and boom from there market demolished and it went all the way up now i want to show you another one where this same exact play had happened before now we got the exact same thing here notice how we got equal really essentially we don't even have to go that far back but we can start from here equal 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 immediately we took the lows out a lot of traders in their eyes are like pull back all right let me get in this trade since we got a pull back beautiful and golfing candle five minute it will get every trader right it gets every trade all the time but immediately what happened was it went up and this is a trade that we took as well because once again we seen this as a liquidity phase now, the beauty of this liquidity phase concept uh, or idea that, you know, the solo family we all came up with and created is it will help you in manipulation. So if you're in a peer or asset that is all manipulation, this is the perfect strategy, the perfect way you should go about looking at a trade or a market and get in a trade because it will literally give you that setup that fakes out sellers and buyers, but you're gonna be that 1% that will catch it at the right time. So before we can continue, I do wanna to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Trade Locker once again, guys. If you are not part of Trade Locker, you definitely wanna make sure you tune in Trade Locker. They are the new upcoming revolutionary platform. Based off what they got is TradingView all in together. I no longer need to go on TradingView to take a trade and then go on my MT4, MT5 account, which is most popular to take a trade with my broker. I can do everything here. As you see, I am on my Funder Pro account. So if you guys are interested in signing up with Funder Pro through Trade Locker, use my discount code SOLO20 so you can get 20% off on actual Funder Pro and you'll be fully locked in and you'll be able to trade just like this and you can mark up your charts just like the same way you do with TradingView. So that's the beauty of that. But other than that, let's just talk about what I was saying earlier. So once again, guys, the moving averages is only used for the direction. If you see a liquidity phase, right? Let's say your strategy, you got a different strategy. You might have brought a course on or whatever. Watch a video, but you see that you have equal highs and equal lows. I want you to forget that strategy and use this concept that we're talking about now. Because the moment that this shows up, everything is pretty much invalid and it's about to manipulate 90% of traders and to assume that oh, we're still dropping because the moving averages is above and and every other signal you're getting to sell is is perfect but the moment you take that trade for a sell it goes the other way and you 
get mad about your setup, you get mad about your strategy, you try to figure it out, try to understand what did I do wrong, and you try to implement that again, and then you implement that again, and you realize that it's still wrong. So what I'm getting at is this right here, when you see the equals, I want you to literally eliminate every other strategy, and I want you to take full focus on trying to perfect this here. Um, I think I had another another trade, I'm not sure, uh, on here. Yep, no, that's pretty much it. It's really just these two. But you want to make sure you implement it, and you should be set for knowing that I we got liquidity phase. I don't want to take anything else and just focus on this. And, guys, there will be a lot of money to be made, especially with US 30. All right, guys, so I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you guys have any other questions, make sure you subscribe and follow me so you can tune into our live streams. Other than that, your boy Solo.